nothing without my mother. But today we're going to try and do what we do and try and honor and celebrate and acknowledge all the things that, that the mothers do. And as we talk about mothers, we speak to that feminine energy, that patience that we've spoke about, that people reflected on as we were in circle prayer. It doesn't have to be a birth mother. I think mother, mother to me is a title like we have elders. I know that uh, the religion that I grew up, the church that I grew up, we had a mother clay. And mother clay was mother clay. She was a mother to the church. She was a mother to my mother. That my mother can go to her with things that were on her mind that were far and above what a child could give to her. She was that mother. But we can also go to Mother Clay when we were chastised, uh, spanked, or admonished for something that we did. And she would hold us and, you know, rock us and tell a baby, everything is going to be all right. I see. <laughs> so when we talk about mothers, we're talking about that feminine energy. We're talking about that significant person that stood for us, that was there for us in in our lives. And uh, I would like to do this song as best I can. It's uh, about a mother song for mama. <clears throat> and so if you guys can feel what's in my heart and not so much, you know, ah, oh, he didn't hit that note. Oh, baby, you know, you can feel me. And hopefully you'll be with us in this, uh, this song and what we're about to do for you. <clears throat> Why, Shay? Is that us? Here we go. I love you, mama. I love you, mama. I love you, mama. Yes, I do. We love you, mamas. We love you, mamas. Ooh, this song's for you. You taught me everything and everything you've given me. I'll always keep it inside. You're the driving force in my life. Yes, you are. There isn't anything or anyone that I can be. And it just wouldn't feel right if I didn't have you by my side. Oh, you were there for me to love and care for me when skies were gray. Whenever I was down, oh, you were always there to comfort me. And no one else can be what you have been for me. You will always be. You will always be the girl in my life for all time. Mama. Mama, you know I love you. Ooh, you know I love you, Mama. Mama, you're the queen of my heart. Your love is like tears from the storm. Mama, I just want you to. That loving you is like food for my soul. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You're always down for me, have always been around me. Even when I was bad, you showed me right from my wrong. Yes, you did. And you took up for me when everyone was doubting me. You know we did understand. You gave me the strength to go on. There were so many times looking back when I was so afraid. 
And then you come to me and you would tell me I can face anything. And no one else can do what you have done for me. You will always be. You will always be the girl in my life for all time. Mama, Mama, you know I love you. Oh, you know I love you, Mama. Mama, you're the queen of my home. Your love is like tears from the storm. Mama, I just want you to know that loving you is like food for my soul. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ooh, we love you, mamas. We love you, mamas. We love you, mamas. Yes, we do. We love you, mamas. We love you, mamas. Ooh, the stage for you. We love you, mamas. We love you, mamas. We love you, mamas. Yes, we do. We love you, mamas. We love you, mama. We love you, mama. Ooh. Mama hears. Mama cares. She wears many hats, seldom pass into rest, taking care of this and that. Beautifully dressed in her Sunday's best. You, mama. Baby, you feel okay? Come, you, let me look at you. Come on, baby K. You, mama. mama knows what to do. Mama hears. Mama cares. A testing hand to the forehead. A probing look in the eyes. Healing hands take the lead. Against all pleas and nays. Stirring voices she can raise when your behavior is less. I raised you right with love and praise. None of that sass and mess. Mama hears. Mama cares. Her anger doesn't last long. Soon she's baking and cooking your favorite foods while teasing and cautioning against wrong. Gradually loosening your sullen moods. You know her love is boundless. It strengthens your back and resolve. With her support, you are fearless. Life's challenges fade and dissolve. Mama hears. Mama cares. woman, when I look into your eyes, let me tell you what I see. I look into the eyes that were the first to see the sun, eyes that were the first to ever see children run, eyes of the mother who was the first giver of life. Eyes of the woman who was the first to be a wife. Eyes of the queen 
who was the first upon the land. I look into your eyes and I am proud to be a black man. Black woman, when you speak to me, this is what I hear. I hear the quiet regalness of Queen Hatchetson commanding a barge on the Nile. I hear the earthiness, the, the earthiness of Billie Holiday, a voice with grace and style. I hear the power of Queen Nzinga, who led Angolans into war. I hear the confidence of Harriet Tubman leading slaves through freedom's door. I hear the, the pride of Nina Simone singing young, gifted, and blind. I hear the defiance of Rosa Parks who refused to move to the back. Black woman, when your voice is bitter or filled with rage, I understand. All I hear is pain and love, and I am proud to be. Black man. Black woman, when I look at you, let me tell you what I see. Blackness. Blackness like a beautiful, warm African night. The blackness of the original people who tried to do things right. Builders of pyramids and founders of civilization. Mathematics, science, medicine, and who were the first to build the nation. Blackness, like the eons of strong African women who have endured drought, famine, capture, the middle passage, slavery, rape, seeing their men killed and their children taken away and who still come back to face the world with hope in their eyes, a song on their voice, and a smile on their beautiful black faces. Yes, black woman, your blackness is a badge of strength, courage, endurance, but most of all, beauty. So wear it well, my sister, for it is a beautiful you. Never be ashamed of it, because blackness is beauty, and blackness is you. Yes, you are black and beautiful, and beside you I always stand. And tell the world that I love you, and that I am proud to be, I am proud to be, your man. so much to me, you know, because again, I touch on um, the beauty of grandmothers, which is this next generation, and like, um, both my grandmothers passed before I had an opportunity to meet them, you know, and it's amazing because, of course, this is a woman that raised my mother, this is the woman that raised my father, so I didn't get a chance to see that. But again, like I say, we had the mother clays and such in the church. And so I recognize sometimes when the, with the absence of a thing, 
when you see that thing, you can appreciate it. Just a different, not more or less, but just a different appreciation. And I watch my mother, how she interacts with my, my daughter and how she interacts with uh, my other nieces and nephews. And she does have that special, just that special way. I'm, you know, I say, that's all I can say, you know. Huh? Want the mic? No, no, no. And then you're going to. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You know, we're just giving that. This is a consummate director, you know. Yeah, we're, we're trying we're to improvise. You know, we're just trying to jazz. give directions. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay. Let me see. My mic fell off. Go ahead. Mama Kanke. Yes. Go Stand ahead. up. All right. Go ahead. Mama and Gina. Stand up. Mama Fanya. Stand up. Any other grandmothers in the house? Stand up. All right. Mama Masha. Grandmothers. Come on. Wave your hand. Let me see those hands. I want to see those hands, those loving hands, those nurturing hands, those disciplining hands, those working hands, those grandmother's hands. Grandmothers, we sing this song for you. Sisters, we love you all. But this song is for the grandmothers. We're going to sing about our grandmother. And as we sing about ours, we hope you think about yours. Mama Pam, I see you. Wave your hand. Show me those grandma's hands. That's right, those loving hands. Mama Jasiri, this song's for you. My mother, Ruth Payton, this song is for you. My grandmother, Bessie Allen, this song is for you. church on Sunday morning my grandma's hand played a tambourine so well my grandma's hand used to issue out a warning she'd say I said now don't you run so fast I might fall on a piece of glass I might be snakes in that grass grandma's hand mm -hmm. grandma's hand grandma's hand Grandma's hand, Grandma's hand, Grandma's hand, Grandma's hand, soothe the local unwed mother. Grandma's hand used to ache sometimes and swear. Grandma's hand used to lift her face and tell her, Baby, Grandma, understand. That you really love that man. Put yourself in Jesus' hand. Grandma's hand. Grandma's hand. Grandma's hand. Grandma's hand.
Grandma's hand used to hand me a piece of candy. Grandma's hand they picked me up each time I fell. My grandma's hand, boy, they really came in handy. She said, "A oh, Millie, don't you whip that boy? Oh, what you wanna spank him for?" He didn't drop that off before, but I don't have grandma anymore. Oh, when I get to heaven, I'll look for. When I get to heaven, I'll look for. When I get to heaven, I will look for my grandma's hand. 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 Yeah, the brother's holding down. This is time in our service for our historical tribute, and uh, as he's preparing to come, uh, we know that it's important to keep a seven generation of history alive and working in uh, our people's memory. Um, we have had a wonderful, up to now, three weeks of African history class, and uh, we're having a good conversation. Thank you. <laughs> having a good conversation. It's still not too late to join in if you want to come and learn a little bit. We're now into the stories around uh, what was it like to grow up in Brazil starting in 1500 up till now. And the um, other thing I want to say before Brother Shango comes is that uh, thank you so much for a great event last night. Yeah. We had a... <laughs> <coughs> it's like we're making history. Uh, Casino Night has this second year we've done it. It's fun. It's been a good fundraiser. You get to see some other sides of people's personalities come out. You get all serious on that blackjack table. Bob Sidney was like, you know, dealing <laughs> last night. And uh, it was good to see everybody. It's also, and, and I'll reinforce, it was really good to see uh, Calvin and Kimberly and your son. And it's like, man, 12 years old, dude. Yeah. I was there for your naming ceremony, matter of fact. As a matter of fact, I officiated your naming ceremony. And um, some of you have heard me talk about this. Brother Calvin, when I got uh, ordained in 1998, um, gave me a tree, a sycamore tree that's very emblematic of Kemet and had a particular significance in uh, ancient times. And I planted a tree in my backyard. That tree is now 40 feet tall. It started out like a little six foot tall, you know, kind of thing. And I told Calvin, like, almost every time I see the tree, I think about him. So it's funny how those things happen, right? Um, but it's the growth in our community, and there's all kinds of stories to tell. So please uh, welcome him as he comes, um, Brother Shango. I think he's here somewhere. Where is he? Aren't you doing this historical tribute? Come on, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes you need to drum. <laughs> drum roll, drum roll. Oh, yeah, who got the watch? Who got the time? Who got the time? I got the time. I got the time. I got the mic. <laughs> nah, tell daddy that. <laughs> As you can see, my mom had to put up with a lot with me, buddy. <laughs> uh, the day is just so meaningful to me on Mother's Day because uh, it really takes me back to Springfield Baptist Church and the little special programs we used to have on that day. In, Mother King. It's just funny how you may leave the, Cap the Baptist or Catholic or Christian churches, but boy, they, they can put some stuff in you. They can put some stuff up in you that you just don't forget. Just like the other Sunday when I saw Julia up here singing, I remember the torture I went through. <laughs> oh, I remember that torture. Well, anyway, let me get to this thing here. <laughs> no, I'm not. I got the mic. <laughs> well, uh, this is something I was thinking about doing last, last week, but since we had such a great program, you know, for the children, that's the word I, I understood, cheering. And uh, so I didn't mention it at the time. Now, we all know Paul Robeson, right? Okay, well, I'm not going to talk about Paul Robeson. I'm going to talk about an activist, 
an author who died at the age of 86, Paul Robeson, Jr. Okay. Mr. Robeson was born on November 2nd, 1927 in Brooklyn, the only child of Paul and Islanda Robeson. As a boy, he traveled with his parents to Europe and lived with his grandmother in Moscow, where he became fluent in Russian and attended the same public school that Joseph Stalin's daughter attended. Hmm. Interesting situation. Well, he died on Saturday, April the 26th. So as you can see, really recent. And he wrote uh, two books about his father and created an archive of his writings and films. And he aimed to teach the new generation about his father's radical politics. And Mr. Robeson worked many years as a Russian translator and served as a personal aide to his father. In his later years, he wrote books about politics and race, as well as a two-part biography of his father. He admired his father and noted their similar political views in an interview with the New York Times in 1993 when he published his first book, Paul Robeson Jr. Speaks to America. He said he followed in his father's cultural tradition, and like him, he's a black radical. As after his father uh, died in uh, 1976, Mr. Robeson began to collect his father's correspondence, recordings, and photographs for an archives, part of which is housed at, guess where it's housed at? Howard University, you know. And let me give you a sidebar. Yesterday, Howard University had a graduation exercises. 105 people were awarded their PhDs. Did you hear what I said? 105 people were awarded their PhDs. It was the highest in the history of the school. And for the youngins up in the area, P. Diddy is the one who gave the commencement uh, 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 speech there. Well, let me get back to this now. <laughs> when the play Paul Robeson opened on Broadway in 1978, uh, my good buddy James Earl Jones was in it. And it was protested by Mr. Robeson and several other African-American leaders, including Maya Angelou and Julian Bond. And they published a letter in the Variety calling it a precarious perversion of the essence of Paul Robeson. And they said this because uh, it, did not, it did not emphasize Mr. Robeson's socialist views. They tried to water that part down. And Mr. Robeson was very much a socialist. And, but they said the play was done this so it could appeal to, to the masses and whatnot. You know, they got to water stuff down for the masses. And Mr. Robeson served as a consultant for several films about his father, including a 1999 documentary for the PBS series American Masters. His first book on his father, published in 2001, followed an earlier biography uh, by Mark Duberman. And besides his daughter, his daughter's name Susan, Mr. Robeson is survived by his wife Merlin and a grandson. Mr. Robeson was tall and athletic like his father. Both men played football in college. While they had much in common, he said one difference was that he was a member of the Communist Party from 1948 to 1962, while his father never joined the party. Now, for you people who remember McCarthy, and it's a few of y'all that don't remember because you weren't even born yet, well, one of the things he was persecuted for was allegedly he was a member of the Communist Party, but he never even was a member of it. Okay, and then when it was difficult, when he was asked one time, was it difficult to being the, the son and in the shadow of his father? He said his father once said to him, 
if you want to be somebody, you're going to have to be yourself. You can't copy anybody else, especially me. So I never, so I never remember having any need to compete with him. Mr. Robeson said he gave me a sense of being my own man. I guess I'll stop right there. He gave me a sense of being my own man. And so the day I'm going to pour this libation for Paul Robeson Jr., may his spirit continue to be with us. May we all continue to remember our ancestors and our elders because they are, as we say in the Yoruba tradition, they are the living dead. They may be physically gone, but they will perpetually be in our lives. Ashe. This is also for Mama King. Thank you, Brother Shango, for a wonderful historical tribute. And um, these historical tributes um, always give us insights and an opportunity to learn more about our history in more depth and in more detail. And here at the Wose community, that's something that, that we, we vary very much. Because as you add information, it, it, it clarifies the truth. And so, um, it makes life a lifelong study. This is the time in the Wose worship service known as the Litany of Sacrifice. And uh, we have Sister Jalea and Sister Tracy passing out offering envelopes to accept your donations. Uh, we have Brother Baccaray, and what's the name of the young brother again? Keely, Keely. Brother Baccaray and Brother Keely, assisting at the altar. Brother Tamba plays on the piano. Brother Cinnabar does his technical things. <laughs> And it's, it's so good to see all of the mothers this morning, all the grandmothers, and just makes me so thankful to uh, still have my mother, to still have her vibrant and able to operate on her own and take care of her business. And uh, we give thanks for that. This morning, uh, selective reading comes from the Husea. Comes it's on page 47. Comes from the book of Ptahotep. Starting with passage number 7 through passage number 8. Ptahotep writes, if you have grown great after having lived in a lowly condition and have gained wealth after having been poor in your town in the past, forget not how it was with you in former times. Trust not in your wealth, which came to you as a gift of God, and put not behind you another who is your equal and to whom the same has happened. He goes on and states, be generous as long as you live. What goes into the storehouse should come out, for bread is made to be shared. Those whose bellies are empty turn into accusers, and those who are deprived become opponents. See that none such as these are your neighbors. Generosity is a memorial for those who show it long after they have departed. Give thanks to, thank you, Sister Adele. Give thanks for the Tahoe Tap for those wonderful words. 
And he uh, makes other statements just as eloquent, so he's one of my favorite uh, writers, and I encourage you to read, read his work. And so within the Black Binders, page number 15, I believe, is a copy of the Wose Community Litany of Sacrifice, Nguzo Saba. And if we could have everyone stand. And let us read and recite these words together. And as always, like to encourage you to reflect on the words as they appear to you and as they come off the page. Uh, words are important. Words have meaning. Let us read together. Save us, O Holy One, by your name. Vindicate us by your might. Hear my prayer, divine protector. Listen to the words of my mouth. How can we repay the Holy One for the gifts that have been given to us? We will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the God of our ancestors. We will fulfill our vows to our Creator in the presence of all our people. Gladly we bring our sacrifices to you. We will praise your name, O Amin Ra, for it is good. Umoja, unity. We shall strive to maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Kujichakalia. Ujima, collective work and responsibility. We shall build and maintain our community together. Our brothers and sisters' problems shall be ours to solve together. Ujima. Nia, purpose. We shall make our collective vocation the building and development of our people and the restoration of our people to our traditional greatness. Kaumba. Together, Imani, faith. We shall believe with all our hearts in our Creator, our people, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. Amin Ra. Kneeling pads have been laid at the front of the altar. The candles of the Nguzo Saba burns brightly, reflecting the principle of our movement. You may assume a comfortable position at your chair while Brother Tamba continues to play, Brother Sidney on the drum, and I will share a few words to bless these sacrifices. O oh, Holy One, again we come ever grateful and ever thankful for our lives. We thank you, O oh, Holy One, for raising us up as human. We thank you for making us black and African. We ask, O oh, Holy One, that you bless our ancestors, that, we, that you bless all those mothers, those known and unknown, but yet struggled and gave life to a new generation. We thank them for their sacrifices. We thank them for their hard work. We ask that you be with us and bless all mothers on this day Help us to continue to appreciate our mothers. Help us to, to keep them strong, that they not be weighted down with heavy burdens. We ask that you lift that burden. Help us, O oh Holy One, to help them. Bless all those mothers that have come before us, that raised our mothers. 
all the mothers to be. Remember the spirit of your mother and your grandmother that you may take that spirit further into the future. And you may find it necessary to make modifications and adaptations to the way that you were personally raised because we're living in new and different times. But we pray for the strength of mothers. We pray that they find that path, that they're able to stay on that path and do the work that they need to do. And that is raising our sons and daughters, giving life and new birth to our sons and daughters that we may continue on. You know, as human beings, we only extend ourselves through our children. And our children come through mothers. We give thanks for mothers. Bless each and every one, O Holy One, that gave sacrifices this morning, those that came out on this Sunday morning to spend time, to share their energy, to share their resources. We pray, O Holy One, that you help us to multiply these sacrifices, that our work may be stronger, that we may go forward in a more forceful, a more powerful, expansive way. Bless those that gave and those that did not give or wish they could have give. Just bless each and every one, O Holy One. And we ask blessings, send blessings right now. Thank you, Holy One, and be with us throughout the remainder of this service. Help the speaker to communicate what she wished to communicate. Help us to open our hearts and our minds to receive that we may learn and comprehend and internalize. Allow us to take a bit of this spirit of today that has been so wonderfully expressed and exercised.